Hi, it's Janine. And if you've been listening to this podcast for some time, then you are quite aware that I challenge you with a ton of things. More presence, a stricter routine, pursuing your dreams, being nice to others, not worrying, and so on. It may seem like a lot, especially if you're really motivated and you want to improve in all areas of your life. Maybe you even feel a little pressured, which I hope is not the case. The desire to find purpose and meaning is a good quest. It comes from the heart. It's not meant to bog you down or to burden you or to make you feel inadequate. It's meant to bring you joy. The more you learn and discover about yourself, the richer your life will become. And this is the topic of today's episode. Episode 32. And the question that you need to ask yourself every single day. Am I enjoying my life? Am I having fun? And you may have heard from other people. Maybe even your parents or grandparents that life is a struggle, hard work and Fun is only for a selected few. The rest must eke out a living, and too much fun is just not good. And I can see how circumstances 50 years ago were different. Freedom was limited, and people lived under much tighter social and societal constraints. Inequality was making life more difficult for so many people. And in certain parts of the world, this is still true today. But the world is also changing everywhere. People have more access to the world, mainly through the internet, more opportunities to leave a constrained life behind, and just simply overall more physical and personal freedom. And with this it becomes easier to feel joy. And while I can't take suffering away from people's lives, even though I wish I could, I firmly believe that this is not what we came here to do. I believe that this life here is for us to enjoy with our entire being. But often, we mistakenly believe that this joy has to come from the outside. And often it will, just simply by the environments that you choose. Your friends, your travels and adventures, your hobbies. All of these can give you an immense joy. When we feel joy, we feel great about ourselves. We feel confident, powerful, capable, lovable and fulfilled. But when joy is absent, we often get sad and depressed. Do you feel joy in the morning when you get up? Or are you barely making it through the day? Are you waiting for the weekend and when Friday rolls around, you're in the best mood all week? Just because the weekend is about to start. It would not be surprising if you were nodding right now. A 2013 Gallup study found that only 13% of employees worldwide are engaged at work. In other words, about one in eight workers, roughly 180 million employees in the country studied, are psychologically committed to their jobs and likely to be making positive contributions to their organizations. This means that the bulk of employees worldwide, 63%, are not engaged, meaning they lack motivation and they are less likely to invest effort into the organization's goals and outcomes. And 24% are actively disengaged, indicating they are unhappy and unproductive at work and liable to spread negative negativity to co-workers. In rough numbers, this translates into 900 million people not engaged and 340 million actively disengaged workers around the globe. I think this is wild. I mean, really? That would mean that the majority of people I pass on the freeway every morning on my way to work are miserable. And I definitely don't want to question a huge study like this, even though it's now a few years old. But I can question our beliefs. And I just want to ask this. Is it possible people hate their jobs because they don't know how to enjoy it? Is it the simple fact that it's a duty called work that people get paid for, but at the same time it must be misery? Why can we not enjoy our work, our school, all our duties? I would like to take a guess and say that many people hand over the responsibility for their personal joy to someone else, their workplace, 
their family, their boss and co-workers, the weather, the long commute, and so on. People hate their jobs because they don't want to take responsibility for their joy. Experiencing joy means to bring meaning, passion, and fun to everything you do, not just the weekend or the vacation or the night out. Joy is an everyday thing. Realize where it started. You chose the job. Maybe not the high school, but the college, and definitely your job. And acknowledge that you want it to work. So I ask, why hate something that you picked in the first place? Why not bring joy and passion to it and make the best of it? John Didion wrote in a, an essay called On Self-Respect. Character, the willingness to accept responsibility for one's own life, is the source from which self-respect springs. So we have the answer right here in this beautiful quote. Living a joyful life starts with you. It starts with taking responsibility for your life. If you don't feel joy every day, then ask yourself why. And the next step is to start thinking about the things that you can do daily to add joy to your life. If you have to work to make a living, why be miserable at it? Why not look for a way to enjoy your work, or at least part of it? We often don't realize how much is actually within our control. Instead, we give it up so freely. We let others determine how our day will go. That makes no sense to me. Start taking control of your day. You decide how much stress enters your day. Easy said, I know. But you have to start. Life is not meant to be a struggle. And people that have fewer things and opportunities than us are often happier. In fact, think about all the people that recently were laid off or have been looking for work for some time living off their hard-earned savings, maxing out their credit cards, they would give anything to have your job, the job that you hate. Put things into perspective before you hate and wallow in misery. And once you do that, set your life up so that you can enjoy it. Take responsibility. If you hate your boss, then look for another job instead of waiting for him to quit. If you hate the commute, then find a job closer to home or do something during the commute that you enjoy such as listening to audiobooks or my podcast. There are answers out there right now to every obstacle that prevents you from having a joyful life. So right now, write down one thing or two or more. What is holding you back? And then start digging. After you wrote it down, ask yourself, what can I do about this? Those are the three famous options that I'm sure you've heard before. You change the situation, or you accept it, or you leave it. There's a quote by um, Eckhart Tolle that goes like this. When you complain, you make yourself a victim. Leave the situation, change the situation, or accept it. All else is madness. And it truly is. It is madness. You are responsible for the joy in your life. Not your boss, or your co-workers, or the weather, or how light the traffic is. You are responsible, and that's what you should ask yourself every day. How can I bring joy to my life? This moment, this day, is every moment, is every day. So ask yourself, what is your next action to bring more joy into your life? Until next time, much love. Signing off.